Hey everyone, Cardlin here with the newest installment of Fridays with Cardlin. It is November 18th, 2016, and this is officially episode number 23. Go Jordan! Every Friday I'll answer some questions you all submitted and voted up, and I'll give you some updates on myself and the site and how things are going. First things first, let's get straight to the questions. If you have a question of your own, I have a link in the description below for you to ask it. Also, there's a separate link for you to vote on what questions you want to ask me. Alright, here we go. Uh, question number one by Crystal. Hey, I've noticed you color code your backgrounds. Is it on purpose? It most definitely is. Um, it's pretty loose. All of my erotic audios are red. Um, I try to make my comfort audios or my emotional audios purple. Uh, the rest of the colors are kind of a uh, grab bag. There's, they don't really mean anything. Uh, yellow sometimes means happiness or friendship, but otherwise, there's no real code beyond those two colors. Question number two, what's your worst nightmare? Uh, anything with my family dying, that's always a bummer. Um, usually something like, um, my family's dying and it's somehow my fault, or they think it's my fault, or, um, there's nothing I can do to save them. That's, that's always terrible. Question number three by Jennifer. Uh, what other countries would you like to visit in the future? I get asked this one a lot, and I'm not sure why. Um, uh, I've always wanted to go to Japan. I've always wanted to go to, I think, like, Ireland or Scotland would be nice. Um, I have a lot of friends who've gone to Iceland, and they all have wonderful things to say, so I'd love to go there. Um, Brazil, I'd like to check out Sao Paulo. A lot of friends say that that place is nice. Um, maybe Rio. Um, Taiwan, definitely Taiwan. I want to check out all the uh, night markets in Taiwan. I heard Singapore is nice. Ah, uh, just so many places. Um, yeah, it's a lot of places I want to go. Question number four from Anonymous. Have you ever considered dating a fan who will look past all of your fame and stuff? Uh, yeah, I considered it and I uh, decided to make an action on it, and now that fan is my girlfriend. So, yes, I definitely considered dating a fan, and it uh, luckily worked out. Question number five, uh, from QWERTY Dark. When will you do an audio that consists of a shower, uh, that has a shower in it? Okay, um, yeah, I get this asked a lot too. I'm not sure if it's by the same person over and over again, but I do get asked this one a lot, and um, I, d I definitely think that there's a lot of room for script ideas in the, in the shower, and when I get better gear in the future, when I have a better recording studio, I definitely would uh, consider it. For right now, though, given how my recording station is very stationary, <laughs> in the sense that I can't really move it, I can't really get around with it. Like Maybe when I get a laptop I can record with, a better mic for uh, moving around. It's just that a shower audio can require so much audio detail, right? To really get the the uh, the ambiance, right? You have to have the echo. You have to have the constant stream of shower sounds. And on top of that, it has to be quiet enough that you can still talk over it. And your voice can't be too clear because it's being hit by shower water. You know, there's just a lot of nuance and details that I would want to get right if I'm going to do it. That's a loud car. And there it goes. Question number six from Anonymous. Would you consider yourself a feminist? So this question's kind of touchy, right? I mean, first off, who would say no, right? Who doesn't think that women should be equal to men? Everybody thinks that, of course. It's default, you know, uh, in this modern... I'm not saying that it hasn't always been that way. I'm not saying there are... You know, realistically speaking, there are people who don't think that way. Um, but, yeah, of course, I think women should be equal to men. The problem is that the word feminist is taken on such a good... Unfortunately, it's taken on such a negative connotation, you know what I mean? One of my favorite comedians, Aziz Ansari, has a saying where it's like... He basically says exactly that. He says, like, of course, everybody's going to say that uh, women should be equal to men, men should be equal... That, you know, all gender should be equal. But... You hear the word feminist and you feel like you're about to get yelled at. <laughs> you know, you feel like you're in trouble for something. And uh, that's unfortunate because I think the fight for equality is a good one, an important one. 
But like any cause, it's usually driven by zealots, and zealots and fanatics usually set a bad tone, and uh, usually, ironically, only serve to uh, destroy the very thing they're fighting for by making bad examples. Question number seven from Anonymous. What do you look for in a girl? Um, you know, I used to look for things like, well, there was a time in my life where I'd look for someone who was broken that I could fix. And I realized that is a project that's not love, you know? I used to look for someone who was beautiful and Beautiful's nice, but it's it's just a, an adjective, you know? Like, you can have a, a car that's yellow, a car that's red, but regardless of the color, the car has to run well in order for it to be useful, beneficial. Um, so what do I look for in a girl now, after all these years, and after having learned what I learned? Um... Someone who I can have a good time with. And when I say good time, I mean like someone I can enjoy my life with. Someone who makes me feel good. You know, like back in like my younger years, I used to think things like, oh man, look at her. I would just, mm, I would do so many things to her. Now it's like, oh, I bet she has soft hands. Or it's like, I wonder what it's like snuggling with her. You know, it's like it's, I want somebody I can enjoy my life with someone who will laugh at my jokes, someone who can make jokes that'll make me laugh. That kind of uh, companionship. So yeah, in a long roundabout way to answer your question, it's basically, what do I look for in a girl? Um, Companionship. Friendship. True, lasting friendship that turns into a love that surpasses romance and lust and desire and a sense of fulfillment, you know? It's just like, instead of feeling fulfilled, you feel complete. I don't know, I'm rambling. But basically, um, someone I can spend my life with. Question number eight from Anonymous. What are your other special talents aside from voice acting? I'm really good at not being good at singing, uh, as I'm sure some of you have heard. Um, mm, I make a decent leader, at work at least, so I'm told. I mean, there's a reason I have the job I have. Um, special talents. Uh, I can fold my tongue over. That's pretty cool. I think my fingers are double jointed. And, um, I'm pretty decent at video games, I don't know. Uh, other special talents, um, I, I, I think I'm a decent writer. I'm fairly confident in my ability to write. I don't know if I could actually write, like, a whole novel. Um, it's definitely not the type of writing I'm used to, but in terms of, like, short works of fiction, I think I do pretty all right. Question number nine, when was the last time you cried? I know this, uh, I know Anonymous that you're expecting some kind of like deep, uh, amazing heart wrenching story, but to be honest with you, I cry often. I cried this weekend, I believe, when I watched Wreck-It Ralph. When he was doing the thing where he was tumbling towards the, uh, the mountain of Mentos and Diet Coke. Yeah, I think that was when I cried. And finally, question number 10 from Anonymous also. Are you into romantic movies? Yes, I am. If so, which one's your favorite? It's a, let's say, three-way tie. Um, if we're going for serious, I like um, Cloud Atlas. Does that count as serious? If we're going for comedy, I love Love Actually. If we're going for whimsical, I love Moulin Rouge. Or tragedy, I guess. But yeah, those three are my, three of my favorite romantic movies. Three of my favorite movies, period. 
All right, that's the questions. Now on to announcements. Let's see. Oh, right. So the t-shirt design contest is still up and running. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but it's basically about how you, if you have any ideas you'd like to see in a t-shirt or any kind of apparel, uh, you should email me or at least check the description below for some descriptions on how it works. I've already gotten some amazing designs. Uh, I've chosen two that I want to move forward with and they're really freaking cool and I can't wait to reveal them. I don't want to reveal them just yet, which actually brings me to my next announcement, which is that the t-shirt store is up and running, except it's so much more than a t-shirt store. There's like phone covers, there's like journals, there's mugs, there's like hoodies, there's dresses, there's blankets, duvets, pillowcases, there's so much cool stuff. And um, I have started off with just one design, it's the bread and butter Cardi Bear, everybody's favorite. But leading up to Christmas, I'll be revealing new designs. I don't have a cadence for yet, it might be once a week. But yeah, I've got a couple of different designs that I want to let loose. And um, bef- about two weeks before Christmas, I plan to have all of my designs up and running. But for now, if you want the uh, good old classic Cardi Bear, it is up there and you can check it out. I've already made about five or six sales and it's really cool seeing them come in. It's really, really thrilling. I just got it up this morning or last night and uh, (laughs) I'm geeking out over it. Uh, Also, one last thing, uh, and this one's really important, is I wanted to give you all a very special Christmas present. Now, of all the things you asked me for, I don't get asked for anything quite as much as I get asked for sequels. We are always asking for a part two. What I have in the description below is a survey wherein you can fill it out and you can tell me which of my audios you would like to see a sequel to the most. Now, I know like a lot of you want to see sequel to this, to different ones, specific ones. Let me know in the description below. I'll gather all the answers. I'll choose the most popular ones and then I'll have you vote. And for Christmas, I plan to do a sequel to one or two or maybe even three of them. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Depends on how good you are. <laughs> And there we have it, another Fridays with Cardlin video down and done. You know, Thanksgiving has always been one of my favorite holidays, despite its tarnished and ugly origin. The whole family gets together, we eat some good grub, we all get to catch up and enjoy each other's company. Beyond the party, though, I also like it because it's a time for reflection. It's a time to focus on what we're thankful for. I want to challenge you, each and every one of you, to find what you're most thankful for this year. If you think you have nothing, and I know some of you, maybe even a lot of you, it's the first thing that comes to mind, I really want to challenge you to be bigger than that. Be bigger than your problems, to be honest and objective, and to be able to name what you're grateful for. It could be that you're breathing, it could be that you have internet to listen to this, it could be that you're a millionaire. Could be that you have a cozy blanket you like. Could be that you like the way clothes feel all fuzzy and warm when they're out of the dryer. If you like, you can share in the comments below what you find yourself most thankful for this year. And I hope you do. And just because I'm sort of maybe a YouTuber now and YouTubers say these things, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you like them. And maybe tell your friends why not. I believe that about brings us to an end, so yeah. Cheers.